Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's episode is all about structure and planning and we're going to dive into doing setting up my training plan using Trainer Road. It's not just about riding more, it's about riding smarter. So let's get into it. So when you open up the Trainer Road app, you'll be, you've got your career at the top here. And train Now is if you're not following the training plan at the moment. You can click into Train Now and it'll give you three workouts where it's recommended for you. And it will even work so if you're on a training plan, so say you don't normally ride on a, um, on a weekend or something like that. You're out on a club ride and say it's raining and you just want to get quick structured riding. Call it the comeback. Uh, I've not been doing any, any volume, but seeing as I haven't done much training lately, then I'm going to click beginner because it's going to give me not as intense um, workouts because you don't want to be jumping straight back into intensity even even when you're building your base so I'm going to start it from we'll start from today I've already got events what I've um, want to include so include some events what I'm going to train for so in May, I plan to ride around the Isle of Wight. Um, then there's an epic, epic gravel event that I want to take part in. And then um, in, out in October, I haven't found an event yet, but I'm going to be looking for like an end of year event, hopefully, to be going for, going on. But if you notice, my A events are really spread apart. Um, when you're on website it won't let you put in uh, two A events too close together so I think you've got to, is it six or eight weeks apart we're going to have Mondays um, Wednesdays and Saturdays but Saturdays is more of a family day so I'm going to pop it as a 45 minute workout oh. but then I want to make it as a master's plan because I work the shift work it's made it a little bit easier for me because it's um, more you want to go towards more recovery if you are a master's athlete. So you can see now where I've got my Pilates, my uh, sauna swim. These ones on a Sunday here, they're just a family recovery ride where I've put in because it's just nice to get out on the bike with the family. So what I love about Trainer Road is the science behind these workouts. Each phase is designed into build fit to build specific fitness. So we started with the base training to to build endurance. Then we move more into intense workouts. It's all about laying the right foundation. So in your base phase, you start building out more of the endurance, your sweet spot, and your tempo, some threshold but you won't really do very much VO2 max because you don't really need that high peak. You just want to be building out. So say, um, so say in Trainer Road, you think yourself as a, like as a cartoon character. So if you're, or like even better, like top trumps. So if you're good at endurance, your endurance will start building out and building out. But if you're, so you can try and build these levels up. So each energy system you build out but you can never have all, uh, you can't be 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 at everything because you can't be a 10 at sprints, but also 10 at endurance. It's just, it's just impossible. You can't, it's not the aim of the goal anyway. It's you want to be building out these. So as you get to building your levels out, AIFTP will and they'll bump you up. So consistency is key um, in any training plan, but Trainer Road will send you notifications and it'll make it a lot easier to follow your workout. So it's like having your own personal coach. The workouts are designed to be challenging, but they are doable. Trainer Road, the level they've got it at, because it's based on my FTP, it ensures that I'll be able to complete all of the workouts. But it let, lets you know if they're harder or not. So, but I'll be able to, I know once I'm getting through these few weeks, 
and I just start feeling myself getting stronger. So I'm really excited, looking through this training plan and the progress I'm going to be making. Next time, we'll dive into how nutrition is going to play a vital role in my journey over these next 10 weeks. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share down in the comments below about your journeys and any tips and tricks that you've got for me. I really enjoy reading them. And remember, it's not just about the journey, it's about enjoying the ride. Out.